Hey everybody, Rich here. When it comes to desktop gadgets for Windows 7, there's not really too much to choose from these days, especially when you uh, open up your desktop gadgets, which you can find by clicking on your Start logo, or Windows logo I should say, searching for the term gadget and you will see desktop gadgets and it will bring up this. When we click Get More Gadgets Online, you're brought here. Now it says right at the bottom, let me just uh, make it a little bigger. Because we want to focus on the exciting possibilities of, of the newest version of Windows, and I'm assuming they're referring to Windows 8, Microsoft no longer supports uploading new gadgets, but that doesn't mean you still can't get gadgets. The most popular and highest rated gadgets are still available on this page. So I'm going to point out the ones that I personally think are useful. Your gadget gallery will not look like this. It'll look somewhat similar to this, but not exactly. Some of these came with Windows 7, and uh, but I'll show the ones that I added in from the uh, the gadget website there. I'm going to focus on all CPU meter, GPU meter, MSN weather, and drives meter. So the first one I'm going to show is MSN weather, as opposed to just weather, which I think comes bundled with it and is available right here MSN weather 2.0 it is better than regular weather and I'll show you why if we do just weather okay let me bring that in and MSN weather let me bring, bring this one in I'll try to anyway okay minimize this for a moment make this one big and we'll change this one to Tampa in Fahrenheit. Search. Press OK to apply. OK. They look the same on the surface. This is the MSN one. This is the regular one. The regular one only has a three day forecast. This one has a five day. And in addition, if I hover over this one, there's details. If I click, it actually gives some useful information. Feels like 68, humidity 35%, wind speed 10 miles per hour westbound. Precipitation chance 0, sunrise 656, noon 1327, uh, 1300 hours 27 minutes, sunset 1900 hours 59 minutes, observation time 424, 2012, 1735 hours minus 4 hour GMT observation point Peter O'Night Airport. None of this is present <laughs> in the other one. Each day is linked. If I click it, it, it brings up a web browser and it goes to MSN, which is I personally find annoying because I just want it right here. Now these are linked to and will essentially do the same thing. But the point is that with the MSN one I get a lot more useful information than a five-day forecast and I did not see anything in here that will give me a five-day anything so that is why I think the MSN one is worth getting okay <clears throat> actually I'll show four of these uh, all CPU GPU network and drives so I'll launch this one put that in view this one put that in view network meter that one and drives come on drives launch oh there it goes, oh it launched it twice okay close one bring it in view my first complaint about this is that the text is a bit on the tiny side but it's more or less readable uh, now the nice part of each actually let me get rid of this cancel We'll do it for this one. There we go. The nice part about each is that you can change all the colors if you want to, which I think is pretty cool. And yeah, I really could not find any way to increase the text size, but if you can deal with that, these are all good utilities from the computer geek's point of view anyway. Now the first thing to note up front, because I'm sure a bunch of you saw the ATI meet, uh, logo there, is uh, yes, this will recognize the difference between uh, NVIDIA, ATI, or whatever it is you have to, uh, you are using for a graphics card. Whatever you are using is the logo that should show up, unless it's some 
seriously no name graphics card or something that's very obsolete or something like that anyway so you've got your CPU usage here where I have a two core processor it shows my core one and core two and the uh, what's going on with the GPU meter and I think it yeah it will actually show the fan speed if the fan is running now is it's either not running or it's just not recognized in this app it's I think it's just not recognized it'll either show up or it won't and then the network meter uh, this is for wired and not wireless and then the drives meter which will show you how much you have free and all that other happy good stuff there are different options for each like for this one it will ask you uh, which drives you want to monitor and in this one you can choose the uh, now it is true you could do wireless network with this one so I gotta correct myself but I think to the best of my knowledge it doesn't really work that well I think it will work with uh, B and G I don't know about N may not work with wireless and although I think there's an update available for it so I'm not sure actually is there yeah it says new version is available so I could go get the newest version and I think it will recognize uh, B G and N for wireless and you can choose uh, which network card to monitor and a bunch of other stuff in here and this one uh, you can ch if you have multiple graphics cards you can choose which one you want to monitor here and not much else really oh yeah you can choose to show the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit show fan show shader show PCB town PCI Express da 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 and in this one hold on I gotta kinda drag this in view here there we go auto processor icon on processor check processor name graph drawing style line or filled double click on background show the task manager resource monitor or off show core temperatures if you want to the colors as I showed before and a lot of stuff to say please share this out if you like this utility these four are useful gadgets like I said to the uh, computer geek type of person now aside from those and the uh, weather like there is one here called CPU meter which I'm not sure if it comes bundled with Windows 7 or not this one yeah it shows what's going on but I can't really mod I can modify the opacity but basically nothing else so that's not really too useful to me or to most anyone else for that matter uh, the only other one I kinda like is the uh, calendar just because for the fact it's so simple it's just a big thing that shows what today is the day of the month the named month and the year and if I double click it it will show a calendar which is kinda nice and if I fly it out like this you can show both the uh, oops, both the calendar and the uh, the big one down here and I can scroll month to month to month to month and so on my only complaint about this is well, actually, no, I just uh, solved that complaint. I was like, there's no way to jump back to the day. Uh, yes, I can. I can just click this, double click, there. Yeah. Try that again. I can just double click this down here, <clears throat> and it goes back to the day, because it's the only one in orange. Like, if I go to another day, uh, it'll be in white, and this little flap down here, if I click this, it goes back to where it was. So, other than that, that's pretty much it. So, these four are good. The MSN weather is really good and the calendar is good uh... feed headlines this one was weird because i think it only works in concert with windows live mail i didn't even bother with it kind of annoying to configure so screw that one so but the other ones yeah try them out the one you'll probably like the best are the four for the uh... computer stuff and the msn weather because that's nice too 